All right. Um, the other thing I want to show you guys, the second video here is uh, a picture of my rain barrel collection system. And as you can see, I have four barrels and it's connected with a downspout. Um, I, had a, I had a diverter on here, but I didn't like the way it was working. So I just got one of these flexible downspout thingies <laughs> and I just shoved it in here. And then when it's full, I just take it out of here and put it in the in the gutter here so that the um, the water can uh, just run out into my yard. Um, but yeah, um, I have these four barrels and I cover them with a um, with a cloth <laughs> with 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 really long elastic bands to um, prevent mosquitoes from sure. making nests in there. What kind of cloth is it? Um, it's a uh, it's just a it's just a cloth that, like uh, that you use to cover um, like vegetables in your garden. Some kind of fabric I got off Amazon. You use it to keep insects off your vegetables, and I just repurposed it for this. But here's the system. Um, I'll show you a close up here. Yeah, I use PVC, and I have each one of them bored near the bottom with an inch and a half. Um, uh, hole drill with a bulkhead bulkhead uh, uh, I guess you call them outlets I'm not really up on this stuff they're 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 bulkhead fittings and they're th all three quarter inch and bulkhead fittings on each one and I put a little silicone on them to prevent them from leaking and so far they aren't and then uh, you know a, a L-shaped PVC fitting with about a six inch drop and tease. And then between each drum, I put a, um, a shut off so that if I ever wanted to work on, work on um, a drum, I could isolate. I wouldn't have to waste all my water. I just can turn, turn this off and, I'll stay and, and the be water able to work it. on the others or whatever. But I like the idea of, um, being able to turn each one off individually. So I have four, four um, shutoffs between them. But this, this, this system here, I just used to, in a previous video, I showed you my, 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 my water collection system that, um, that waters my garden with my uh, drip irrigation and so on. This I use just to replenish my drum in the previous video I showed you. This isn't connected to anything. It just they just fill up, and um, if you notice on the corner, I have it. I have a final t shut off, and then it goes here to another filter, of, well, a filter with some brass fittings, and um, because I, I put a filter here because this goes to a pump, and if you come over here, you can see a little pump. This isn't an on-demand pump or anything, it's just a regular pump, little pump that I got uh, off the internet. And what I do with this is that I, use, I pump the water from these barrels into my, my water collection system um, that waters my garden. I just use this system here to replenish my, um, my water collection. So I just have this little pump set up here and then when I'm ready, when they fill up and I want to replenish that pump, I just use a regular garden hose, attach it to the pump, and I pump the water out to uh, my, my uh, water collection system down there. But this is basically it, very simple. A uh, bulkhead, uh, you have to use a, and I'd give you a bit of advice, always make sure you have the right drill for these barrels because if you if you do it too small you'll never get it right after that you have to use a i think it's an inch and a half drill drill the hole out fit the bulkhead in then you put a you have a an l a 90 degree um three quarter inch you can drop it down to with a six inch piece then a, then a t and then a connector for your PVC. That's basically it. It's, it's quite simple and easy to set up. Um, didn't take me very long. 
and it's great um, when you when you have a good uh, good bit of gutter attached to it it fills up really fast and we're talking about maybe 200 gallons here uh, with the four 450 gallon drums so this works great and um, like I said I have a diverter here that only diverted some of the water to the tanks but it was it was clogging for me um, quite often and I had to be pulling it off and cleaning it out and putting it back and it was a pain so I just got one of these dropped it in here and then when the drums fill up I just pop this out and drop it into this uh, this gutter piece that I have you know so it, so, so it looks more finished and these are flexible so you can make them shorter or longer so um, it doesn't look it doesn't look really um, tacky tacky that's the word. It doesn't look tacky when you when you have it uh, when you have it put, put that in here. to it. That looks great. Um, basically, all I have is um, uh, cinder blocks on plywood to keep it off the ground and keep it level. And basically, this system is set up so that as the first as the first barrel fills up, they all fill up at the same time because water finds its own level. So. Um, they just all fill up at the same time and they empty at the same same time empty fill up and empty at the same rate and at the same time so i like this system some people put the 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 the, the connectors at the top and um i guess that works too but i like i like it i like doing it this way at the bottom and i've seen this um done on the internet so i tried it and it works great all right so hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching and um, I have some more coming soon.